Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new, my name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Chi-Town Girl. I am back with the rest of the items from today's video earlier. Dollar Tree haul. Every single item in this video is a buck and a coin. A dollar twenty-five. All these items came from Poughkeepsie, Wappinger Falls, and Kingston, New York. So if you're in the Hudson Valley, that's where these items came from. Yes, we have a couple stores that have converted over to Plus stores. None of these items are from the Plus stores. Some of the stores are almost done. I hear one is done, um, but I haven't really shopped any Plus yet. So every item $1.25, let's jump into this. A couple more Easter finds for filling up those Easter baskets. This is a Peeps Color Ups Glow. It's a poster with four markers. A great alternative to sweets or candies if you don't want to fill those Easter baskets up with that stuff. This looks really cute. And it is the Peeps brand. And Peeps has become extremely popular. They also had in the Peeps brand, Find the Easter Bunny. It is a set of two magic art scratchers. And it asks you to find like the blue chick. And it gives you a little carrot down here, which is actually the scratcher. And then you scratch off different Easter eggs to try to find the blue chick. So some more fun for kids or adults. And last but not least by Peeps, it is a 16 count magic paint set. So what you really do here is you just get a little Dixie cup full of water. And what else you could do too is I used to remember I would do with my daughter if we couldn't find a paintbrush. I'd say, okay, we'll take a couple of Q-tips. And you just wet the paper and then the ink comes off, which is really cool. So they give you all different kinds of designs to paint. There's Peeps as well as like here where it says awesome chick. So that's another fun thing for an Easter basket as well. They have lots of stuff out for Easter baskets right now. They also had this two pack by Crystal Waters. It is a two pack of scented. One is strawberry scented and one is grape scented and they're lip balms. So let's open this up and check this out here. That's the only way we find out what the items look like some of the times is we need to open them up. If you can get them open, oh my goodness. All right, so what do we got here? Looks like two plastic containers. Yep, my favorite colors. Oh, they're actually glued together with some hot glue. But there's a pink one and a purple one. And we have the strawberry and the grape. So let's check this out. You twist off the top. And then there is your, it doesn't look like anything's in there because it's like clear. Wow, does it smell like grape though? That's awesome, it really smells like grape. How cute is that? You could split this up and put it in two baskets or just do one. This one is strawberry scented. Again, by the company Crystal Vibes. Yeah, there it is. It's like a gel in there. The grape smells awesome. The strawberry smells really good too, but I'm more of a fan of the grape. So that's super cute. They just have some little glue there that holds them together. So that's pretty fun. Also in the makeup session, they had this. And this is by um, CoverGirl. So CoverGirl, yes, brand name. This is a um, 0.39 fluid ounce. And it's a compact foundation. And it looks just like this. I mean, it's a nice big box here. They didn't have any other lighter colors at my store. Let me bring it in a little bit closer. That's probably going to be way too dark for me right now, but maybe not so much when we get into the warmer months and I'm at the ocean. Um, they had much darker colors, but that was the lightest color that I could find in my area. Also in the beauty section, oh, I hear Mia barking outside. Um, she's in the backyard. She's She's safe. This, I first of all, love this bling bling packaging. This is a package. They had all these packages hanging on a shelf in this kind of metallic pink packaging, which is really, really cool. It definitely catches your eye. But they had CoverGirl. They had Mega Shine. They had Revlon. All different brand nail polishes. And some of them would have like a full-size bottle. And other ones would have like little mini bottles. So I grabbed this one because, first of all, it's OPI, which I use their polish. And it's a bottle of this mini in the red and then this opalescent white. And I thought, well, I'll for sure use both those colors. And I like the fact they're in these little mini bottles because I think those are kind of cool. Also in Makeup and Beauty, I, wait, I think that was, oh yeah, here we go. I have a face mask here. And this is Sparkling 
hair and honey. It's to calm, nourish, and replenish. And it's a paper facial mask. So I'm going to be doing a review with this and checking it out. I need some whoos of time. <laughs> All right. Um, cool, fun bracelet. Check this out. This is basically just called a wristband, but it's got the bubbles on it. And if you look at it, it's in the shape of a unicorn. Now there's this really cool snappy thing on the back to adjust the size. So let me open it up so you can see the full size. And then here's all the little bubble poppers right here. Now everyone knows, and I know too, that I ain't no Barbie doll. I ain't no size two. But this will fit me and then some over. So let me just pop this in real quick. This is adorable. I'm not doing a very good job popping it in because it has the tag on there. So bear with me one second. So you just pull, push the metal tab through whatever hole fits you the best. And I actually have to make this kind of small um, because it's bigger than I thought. And it would help if I would put the thing in the hole. Um, what is going on here? Doesn't, there we go. All right, so that's what it looks like when it's hooked up. And here's that metal piece I was talking about. So how cute is this? It's a unicorn -y, and then you can sit and play with the bubbles. So this definitely fits me. It has much plenty of room. Um, I was on this hole right here. So you've got four sets of holes. So if you're someone who may be on the larger side or maybe you need something super, super small on the smaller side, you can definitely adjust it. Also down the toys and kids section, they had, oh, I had a big Hot Wheels box when I was a kid. And I saw this and I was like, what? Get out of here. Had to grab this. It says it holds up to six cars which I thought was super cute. So I got a couple of them. Let me just open it up on the side here with the plastic. And they sell lots of Hot Wheels at Dollar Tree. They also sell, um, what's the other one? Hot Wheels and the other one, but I always look for Hot Wheels. So this holds up to six. <coughs> Excuse me, you can see my camera in the background, but there's all your slots. They also give you the holes on the back if you decide you wanna mount them up on the walls, which lots of people do with their collectibles if they're really serious about it. So that was a great find. They had a couple other ones, but they didn't have muscle cars on there. So I went straight for the muscle cars. Also in the toy section and also, I wanna say it was by the front registers, but don't hold me to that. They had these, which are shoe charms. Now you get four pieces in a set. I found three different ones. I don't know how many they have. Now I'm assuming, because I don't believe I have anything that takes shoe charms are these i'm thinking for the clog shoes that people wear that have the holes in them don't hold me to that but i'm thinking so anyways here's what the first package looks like and then there's the tabs on the back the second package and some of them are kind of twisted around like that's a unicorn -y donut and it's kind of twisted around but there's package number two i'm really struggling with the light in this room package number three and again like i said i don't know how many there are and a couple of these are upside down, but I think you can still read them. So there was the third package that I found. All right, also in toys, they had these, which were kind of fun. These are puzzles and it's about astrology. And this one has a hundred different pieces. There's what the actual puzzle looks like. But what I thought was so cool about this is it was super compact and perfect for an Easter day basket, Easter day basket. Easter basket or a Mother's Day basket or something. They had two of them and this one's 100 pieces as well. And that's what that one looks like. I can only imagine those being pretty hard. This one, maybe not too much, but that one is gonna be a pill for sure. But I thought that was a great find. Also in, let's see, I got some toys. I have some snacks. Let me show some snacks. So we can make Miss Cheryl happy. Um, I'm just messing with you, Cheryl. It's taken forever for my taste buds to come back, but I think they're finally on their way back. So here's some new finds I found. This is by Stork. And Mambas are those like little Mambas that almost look like Starbucks. Starbucks. Looks at me. I have coffee on the brain. Um, look like Starburst. I've never seen Mamba Magic Sticks. Two flavors in one. You have watermelon raspberry, pineapple orange, and mango strawberry. Oh my gosh, just think about those flavors. So that's what those look like. How cool is that? 
Love the packaging. This totally got my attention. I walked by and went, wait, double take. What's those? So those look yummy. Then I also found something new by Jell-O. Now Jell-O had these sour tap. Whoops, I hit my camera. All right, I've completed one of my things. Now I just have to drop something. Um, they had these little pull stabs of like sour and sweets. This is something I've never seen before. So this is made by Jell-O. It is 3.75 ounces and it's lime, berry blue, and strawberry. And they're Jell-O gummies? Check those out. How cool are those? That's definitely different. And then right next to it, they had lime, berry blue, or strawberry sour gummies in the same size packaging. So I thought, wow, look at that lime green. If that doesn't get your eye, I don't know what will. So I think there might be a taste test here in my future. All right, the next thing I found, and I saw, um, who, who hauled these? Anna from Only In My Dreams. Love her to death. Kellogg's Crunch Mania Bite Size Cinnamon Bun Graham Crocker. It's a four pack, and this is what it looks like. Love cinnamon buns if they're done right. So grab me some of those. Again, brand name Kellogg's. They also had by Kellogg's Crunch Mania Bite Size uh, French Toast Graham Cracker Snacks. Each bag is 1.76 ounce. Love that purple packaging. So I grabbed me some of these. So we're going to have to taste test some of these munchies we have here. I think we have probably a couple minute video with just that, right? All right, moving on. Some notebooks I want to share with all of you. They had so many new notebooks. I was going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. But grab some new ones because I'm doing a basket for somebody that gets into like markers and notebooks. And I thought this will be perfect for her. Happy, joy, and peace. These are all hard bone books. They all have the spiral bound. It does not tell me how many pages are in here, but if I had to guess, I'm going to say at least 150 to 200. The sheets are lined. Nothing special on the paper. You don't really need it. Your sticker does come off on the back, and this is a hardbound book. Then they had this one. So for those of you who look like butterflies, this is perfect. This one says happy. Look at those beautiful colors. They just pop right out at you. Again, your design's on the back. That sticker pops right off. Spiral bound and lined plain on the inside. A couple more to share with you. Beautiful. How pretty. Loving the butterflies. I've been hearing little birdies. Last night I had to run out to Walgreens to get something. And where our Walgreens is, it's right in the back of like a major off. Uh, it's like a backup of a forest preserve. And um, I could hear the peepers. So I sat there with the window down and the stereo off. And I was just like, oh, spring is coming. So this just makes everything just, wow, the colors are gorgeous in this. Last but not least, choose joy. This is adorable. Plain and simple, not overly done, but it's got pretty little flowers that match the front and the back. Again, lined and spiral bound. All right, for those of you that like word search, and I do, and I normally get the big ones at Dollar Tree, um, but these caught my eye, and I thought these are perfect. This is 127 puzzles, and they look just like this. So as you can see, it says word search. Um, it's a, a bendable book. It does not tell me, it says 127, okay, does it tell me if you get, you do get the answers in the back. So let me just open this up. So I think this is a great size. It might be too small for others, but believe it or not, sometimes I'll carry something like this in my purse. If I'm out and about or if I'm stuck in a car or stuck somewhere, instead of playing on the phone, I'll often pick up a magazine that I've brought with me or I'll do a word search. So there was that one. <coughs> Excuse me. They also had a couple different ones. So let me go back to this one. So this one was 127. Then they had this one here in this color that was 127. The puzzles are different. Then I found this one in purple and had to have it, even though this one only has 70, I that's okay because I love this color. I think it looks awesome. And the puzzles in here are more like this, where the ones in here are like that. All right, that's it for books couple little things down the toy aisle. 
All right, I found, let me see. I came across a couple more of the Wow Surprise Go Novelty Hair Ties. I found a couple of those. So let's open one up and see what we got. Where's my scissors? Here we go. Even though the, well, I'll try tearing it first because it does have these little nudges for tear outs. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Sometimes I can get the, yep. All right, maybe I can get this one open. My nails are really too long right now. I'm waiting for my girl. All right, here we go. What do we got? What do we got? All right, so I think there's like six. <gasps> we got a bunny. We got another bunny. Oh, I'm so excited because this is like the perfect one to get right now. Oh, now I have two. Oh my gosh. So here is the bunny. How adorable is that? <gasps> two, two cutes. Love it. All right, so let's move on. I also came across I, I think these things are following me around. Some more of the Disney Dorables. I actually found four more. So let's open a couple. I shake them down. I shake them, shake them, shake them. Now these usually are going to have that card in there that has all the different ones you can get. I've been really, really lucky. I really need to sit down. And so there's your card. I need to sit down because and find out exactly which ones I have because there's 62 different ones. We have this gentleman right here. I'm not going to look right now because I don't want the video to run too over. So this guy I know I don't have. We should do another one, shall we? <laughs> These are like lottery tickets. They're addicting. Oh my gosh, they're addicting. All right, what do we got here? Here is the book we get. We're just going to bypass that. Oh my goodness, I do not think I have that one at all. How cute. And they get you with the eyes. All right, so I'm going to go over to the last blind bag. And these I already had, but I grabbed a couple more. And these are the Wow Surprise Charm Bracelets. These were so well done. So I thought, all right, let's see what else we can get. So last time I got two unicorns and the starfish, which I thought was a potty. So let's shake this down here and see what we get. I don't think there was a card or anything in these, if I remember right. These are hard to open, these Ziplocs. But I guess that's a good thing because you don't want anybody, just anybody opening them. All right, what do we got? Let's see. What do we get? Oh, the butterfly. I'm telling you, these are so well made, in my opinion. All right, so look at what you're getting here. There's the butterfly. And then you have this little bobble charm right there. And then you have another charm over here. So it's like three bracelets built into one. It has this really pretty lobster claw clasp right there. And, you know, I'm, I'm not tiny in any way, shape, or form. But with the big extender they give you, and of course now I'm going to have a hard time getting it on. With the um, big extender that they give you, you have plenty of room. So here I am yapping, going to try to get it on here. But sometimes, no, I'm not even going to fight with it. So here we have that one. Last time I tried these, they popped on real easy. So let's give it another try. So we've gotten one, two, three out of the six. Yes. So let's see what else we can find. So we're missing a flower. A pineapple and a bird. All right, what do we got? I know I could probably cut the bag better, but here we go. What do we got here? So I did get these at a couple different stores, but that's okay. So we have a double butterfly. Beautiful. Love it, love it. So let's open up one more. I got one more. Hopefully we'll get something different. If not, then I've got some more pieces that are going to go into my doubles. Some of you have asked me, what do I do with all my doubles? Well, every now and then I'll do like a pop-up video or something and all the doubles are put away in a box and never touched after I touch them and I give them away. I also had another person ask me a question. I had a subscriber of mine. Is this another butterfly? <laughs> That's okay. I've got three extra butterflies that I'll be giving away. 
So I had a subscriber who also is a channel, YouTube channel, who does Dollar Tree hauls and other things. She says, hey Beth, I have a channel, but I'm also a subscriber, so can I get into your giveaways? The word is absolutely yes, you can. Not a problem. Um, until next time, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see a taste test on these items, please comment down below. I would greatly appreciate it, and a thumbs up would be perfect too. Until next time, everyone, thanks for watching. Bye for now.